Hi, welcome back to Ion Radio. I'm John. And I'm Ken. And today we have Empire vs. the Confederacy Battle. That's right. So today I am bringing my all-time favorite, Grand Moff Tarkin, to the table. We've got an interesting five-ship list. John, what do you have today? I have a Grievous, very heavy fighter list, which is going to do great considering Ken brought no fighters. Yeah, so this ought to be interesting. So, vultures don't roll well against ships because they're red dice, so they're pretty much useless. And I've got a lot of LTTs and intensify firepower, so we know what that means with my red dice. Yeah, so that's not <laughs> going to look good. So, we would like to thank all of our Patreon members for sponsoring our video. If you would be interested in joining our Patreon, the links are down below. All right, so let's get right to the fleets and to the action. Coming in at 397 points, here is my Grand Moff Tarkin list. So Tarkin is on an ISD Simoon 1. It is the Sovereign with Intensify Firepower and Gunnery Team. I have three Arkitans class command cruisers. All of them are equipped with Link Turbo Laser Towers and a Nav Team. My final ship is a Gazanti class cruiser flotilla with Slicer Tools. I have a General Grievous list coming in at 399. So can outbid me. I have General Grievous on a Munificent Class Comms Frigate with Hyperwave Signal Boost. Decided to go ahead and give that a try with Link Turbo Laser Towers. He is not on my big ship, my Bruiser, which is a Providence Class Dreadnought with Local Fire Control, Flak Guns, DBY827 Heavy Turbo Lasers, and also Linked Turbo Laser Towers. I have a Hard Cell Transport with ComsNet just to give out some tokens. And then I have a whole swarm of CIS fighters. I have Flak prototypes, DIST-81, four hyenas, and six vultures. So the idea here is to go forward and suicide my fighters in to get tokens back while I try to kill ships. We'll see how it happens, because Ken has no fighters to kill them with. So I won the bid. I had a bid of three. John had one. I decided to go first player. So here's what John gave me for objectives. Surprise attack, asteroid tactics, and infested fields. I don't really want to give him the advantage with asteroid tactics, and I don't like the idea of losing my ISD in turn two with surprise attack, so we're going to go with infested fields. So here's Tarkin's fleet deployment. Uh, everything is at speed two, with the exception of the Gazanti here sitting at speed one. I have to take these two points right away, and John's cleverly put the extra guards in a way that I have to try to avoid hitting them. Um, hopefully I can delay a little bit and then uh, pick off all of John's fighters and then his main ships. Here's my fleet. Hard cells going speed one. It allowed me to deploy all my fighters here and make Ken put all of his ships down. The idea is just to land a fighter on each one and gain a token. Then I have my Dreadnought here, aiming at the ISD and whatever he throws at me, with my Munificent off to the side. Both of these are going speed two. I have two pass tokens, and the Provident switched out its contain for a salvo with local fire control. Start of turn one. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Tarkin to give everyone engineering tokens. And then I'm going to use Sovereign to change out the ISD and the two closest Architans to Confires. The first activation is going to be this Architans over here. I have a nav. What I'm going to do is use it as a token. And then we're going to move forward our speed two. Landing on the debris field. So I will suffer the two damage on the rear. Two, and then I get to collect that token. We're gonna go with the hard cell. It's revealing and engineering. We're gonna take it as a token, and then we're going to drop it onto the munificent. And then we're gonna move speed one right to here. 
We're going to activate the Gazantes. I have a nav. I'm going to use it as the dial. I started really looking at what I could potentially do here, and I could risk it at speed two, but I don't want to give up the points. So I'm just going to move forward at speed one. Missing the Exergorth, but I do overlap the asteroid, and the real question is, is what's the crit? It's a power failure. My engineering value reduced to half rounded down. So now you can never get rid of that card. No, won't be able to. We're going to go with the Providence. We're going to be revealing a Navigate, and we're going to be taking it as a token. And uh, this is really the only time that the Providence can maneuver well. So we're going to do this. I'm going to just move some stuff. It's all clustered nicely. We're going to do this maneuver. We're going to activate the Architons over here. Nav, we're going to use it as the dial. We're going to stay at speed two, add the extra click on the first joint. Munificent with Grievous is doing an engineering, not an engineering, it has an engineering token. I literally looked at that token and was like, that's an engineering token. But we're doing a nav, so we get a nav token. And then we're going to move our speed two with a slight turn. like so. So my ships are the only ones left to activate, so let's just go through it real quick. ISD is a nav. We're going to use it, drop down to speed one, and move the ISD forward. And then we're going to look at this last remaining Architons, also a nav. I'm going to take that as a token, though. And then see... Board right back there. Squadron phase, or the John phase in this game. <laughs> We're going to start by moving this forward, and we have to remain in distance, medium of this guy for reasons. And hey, look, I score a point. And then this guy is going to move up right next to, stay in medium. Perfect. This vulture is going to fly to here. Actually, hold on. I want to move the back vultures. This vulture flies to here, gaining me an additional point. This vulture is going to fly and have fallen off. It's an omen of things to come, Jim. Hey, I'm fine with my fighters dying if they give me tokens. <laughs> and I'm going to land on that asteroid and give me another one. And then I basically just have to move the rest of this swarm forward. So we're going to move the hyenas. They're four straight toward you. And I want to remain out of close range. So that's as far as that guy can go. And then we're going to check. Doop. That is medium range. But if you want to shoot at a hyena, you can go ahead and feel fine doing that. So then the rest of them are just going to move right up behind them. Doop. And we're gonna form a little swarm ball right here, like that. And then the rest of the vultures are gonna fly over to here because I would like them closer to my munificent. So I'm just triangulating, I can move to there. And then the rest of them. And just form up inside this little ball. And this guy, because I ran out of activation stuff with him, is going to fly forward to about there. That seems about right. That's all my fighter stuff. So technically at the beginning of the fighter, I take the extra gross off. So I'm going to take them off and then we're going to move them. So we're going to move the two that were on here. So this one is going to move two right in front of your guy again. Okay. And we're going to move it so it's like that. 
This one's gonna move. Yep. To be right here. And then extra goths are gonna go on like that. So start of turn two, here's the shenanigans I have. First thing I'm going to do is spend this token off the ISD to activate Intensify Firepower. Tarkin is then going to give everyone a nav command. And then I'm going to use Sovereign to swap out the nav on the ISD for a confire. That's the fun shenanigans. So now we get to go into an activation. We're going to activate my damaged Gazantes with the nav. We're going to use the token and the dial to kick from speed one to speed three. And if I have this right, I should be able to successfully dodge all of the stuff you threw in front of me, John. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my two pass tokens. All right, John, let's activate the Architons over here. Architons number three, engineering. I'm going to use the dial and the token. It'll give me a bunch of engineering points. I only need four, and I've restored the shields to the rear. I took a look here, and I think speed two is going to overlap the uh, Exergorth, so I'm going to jump to speed three with this Architons. We're going to go with the hard cell. It's got squadrons at medium range. I have both of these guys. They can jump speed five, so they're going to. And we're going to fly all the way out here. I'm going to just move both of them. And then bomb the front of the ISD. Yeah. So they're black dice, so that's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. And I want them actually in the front of your ISD. Both hit bomber? Uh, no, they're not bombers. They're okay. just black dice. All so. Right. Pick one, that's the one that's attacking. We're a hit. Alright, well, um, I will redirect to the port side. Okay, then the other one. Out for another hit. I'll take it. And then we're going speed one, and we're going to do this turn. We're going to activate the Architons in the back here, Nav. Let's just go ahead and use it. We're going to jump to speed three. Add an extra click to the second yaw joint. And he will wind up over here. At this time, I'm going to spend my second and last of the pass tokens to make Ken go again. So let's activate this other Architons over here. Nav, we're going to use it as the dial. And then let's take a whole bunch of shots. So we already determined that I've got nothing out my front. We have these three hyenas and his two aces out my side. So we're going to roll one blue on each. So let's start with the hyena closest to me for nothing. Keep going. And then we've got the hyena behind for hit. Okay. And then the other hyena for nothing. Ooh, this is not great. Let's see what we can do with the two aces. So let's do dis first for one. I will spend out the scatter to take zero. Okay. And then the other one is, uh, what is it? Uh, pap, right? That's what yep. we call them. For nothing. Perfect. All right. So I'm sitting here looking at my options. I was thinking of doing that, but do I really want to get Ranger Hyenas? No. So we're going to do this instead, staying at speed two and just unfortunately wasting that dial. Throwing tokens everywhere. At least I'm avoiding the Exergorth. 
Okay, we're gonna activate Grievous next. He has a squadron, and we're gonna use the squadron to activate three squadrons, which just so happen to be the three guys sitting right there. So we're going to move all of them straight forward. I'm gonna just move them all, if you're cool with that, mm -hmm. and then we'll attack into the front of this ISD. Basically, I'm putting them all <laughs> right in front of you. Look at that giant, everything within range one. I mean, I'm not really counting on them doing any damage here. It's just- It is red dice, It's John. just red dice. And it's and your red dice. They're not bombers, so uh. here we go. First one, nothing. Okay. Second one. Hey, hey, it's a double! That, that's not bad, That's Jim. more damage than I expected them to take the whole time. Uh, so I'm gonna brace that to one. Uh, and um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna redirect it off to the side here, also. Okay. And now I'm now I'm banking on you not rolling another double. Ah. Hit. I'm just gonna have to take that. Okay. So we're going speed two. We're gonna use all of the clicks that the munificent has to try to dodge this arc. And we're gonna land right there. Tarkin's ISD. We have a con fire, so I'm gonna use that. We're gonna go ahead and go after everything in front, because I have no other shots at all. John is out of long range from his uh, uh, munificent. So double blacks on everything. Let's start with the hyenas. Uh, vultures? Or vultures, rather, so. Okay, and then just move our way across? Move our way across, so ultimate three. So the first one has one hit. Second hyena has two hits, and I'm gonna actually burn the confire on this one to bring in another one. Another one here. Nope. Worth the shot. I'm at one health. That's almost a token, Ken. I know. Okay. Here we go. Four two. That's almost a token too. This is exciting. And then we're gonna go after this. this first for nothing. Yes! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, and then against Pap uh, for two. Of course, I, I guess. Scatter that one. Man, I wanted the, the exact opposite rolls there. Uh, no, you wanted two on both, but. Well, that yeah, that's equally true, but you would have scattered the one. So I'm going to move at speed one. So I'm gonna overlap everything. So I'll let you pick them up and move them. And this is going to be remarkably close. We're either going to be just in or just out of long range. And while you're putting those in, we are just out, John. Perfect. We're in here, though. Can you put a one out? I want to see how far one goes. A one distance one? Yeah. You usually have yours more available, because I don't, from this Exergoth. Oh. So I don't want them yet. I will want them, but not yet. So, like that. So, I have no shots with my Providence. I have a Navigate, so we're going to use it. And we're going to jump up to speed three and get this party started. We're doing this, and uh, we're gonna land right there. Okay, start of the fighter John phase. We've already picked up the Exergoths because nothing's in range. Um, and then I'm gonna do this, first time using this upgrade, I'm gonna use the hyperwave signal boost. And I can reach out here. So these two, Ken didn't move far enough forward, otherwise I was planning on hitting him with all of my hyenas. But these two are, are in range, and these two are not. So we're gonna activate these two as if AI triggered them. So I'm gonna just click them over and we're gonna be bombing into the front of your ISD, Ken. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping I get some damage here. Here we go, two at a time. Bomber, double red. For there's nothing, that's kind of what I expected. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, double doubles, come on. Four, take one. That was pretty lackluster. So you know what I'm gonna do, John, is I am going to spend out 
my one redirect just to shove it to the side over here. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and move the rest of our squadrons. And this guy is going to land over here along with this guy because he is his friend. And then we're going to move these guys over to here. Could you do close range? I just want them outside of your close range. That seems pretty good. Oh, they're going to land over here, and then this guy is going to fly over to meet them as well. So that's the fighters. Now we're going to move on to Exergoths and moving obstacles. So we're going to move these guys. Obviously, we move this one first so that I can move it as far over as I can to right there. And then this one's going to just come crashing in between both of you. And then I have to place the Exergoths. And I think what we're going to do is... I'm going to probably need tokens. So we're going to place that guy there. And then this guy... over here and start making a kill box for myself, which is weird. Turn three. Let's start with the shenanigans, spending the con fire token to activate intensify firepower. And then I'm going to have Tarkin give everyone a concentrate firepower that doesn't already have one. And that is all I'm going to do. Now we go into the activation. We have to activate this ISD first. I've got a nav. We're going to use that as the dial later. So my first shot, I'm going to flack anything and everything that's within close distance of me, which I think is just, just all of this stuff. All of that stuff. So what do you want to start with first? So let's start with um the yeah, let's go ones. around let's go around the, the line here. So let's start with this vulture on one. Who's now dead? No, what a waste. I don't care, you're flacking. I'm not shooting my shifts, so here's the other one on one. There's another one that goes. I think we're almost tied to points now. That won't last. Uh, the other one at one. He's on two. Is he on two? Well, he's dead now. Oh, no. And let's go after... Let's go after Dis. Okay. Four, two. Scatter. Okay. And then we'll go after Pap. I'm going to use the... Reroll? Reroll here. So there's the confire. That activates your gunnery teams? Yep. So there's two. Scatter. Okay. And we have two hyena bombers, both at four. Yep. So the first one takes two. Okay. And the second one takes one. Perfect. So you'll probably get a bunch of tokens back later. So then what we're going to do is we're going to, with the gunnery teams, fire out the front and hit the side of your Providence. So I have five reds and two blues, because we are at close range. And the only thing I can do is intensify firepower. Seems pretty okay. So we're going to do that. That's only four. Uh, you cannot salvo. Oh. And you uh, you cannot salvo. Uh, I'll let you use the other ones, though. Okay. I'm going to get the salvo. So I brace it to two. Yeah. And I think I'm just going to take the two. Just like that. All right. So now I get to move. Let's use the dial. And we're going to jump up to speed two. You're going to overlap a lot. Yeah, but yeah. less than what you had before. Hmm. You won't land there. No, 
know what? Go ahead and mark it. I want to give this one a shot. So I'm going to use, uh, I get the extra click on the second yaw. One, two. So that will move those. I'm going to wind up overlapping most of these anyways, but uh, hang on. Let me get this in the right spot. Overlapped. Nope, okay, that's fine. So this is close. So these two I'm definitely overlapping. Wind up going here. Look like I might have made it. So these still stay right there. Somewhere like that. Those you get to replace. We each take a damage. We're gonna go with the Providence. We got a squadron. We have four squadron. It's gonna be all of these right in the front. So we're going to move after we activate. So I'm gonna just activate everything, and then move after rolling if you're cool with that. The plan is to pick them all up and drop them all over here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with my aces first, and then go into the bombers. So first guy. Hit. You got a bunch of double arcs coming out. So, all right, well, I'll take it. Okay, next. Hit. Ugh. Okay, no front shields. Okay, and then the first hyena. Three with a crit. Holy cow, that might be the best, uh... Jeez, uh, we're going to... I have a lot more coming in. Do I really want to take three? All right, I'll take three, but they're all going to be face down. Because I'm going to spend the contain. Okay. And then the last Taina. Four crit. And then we're going to move all of them. All right, we're going to spend out the contain. So five damage on the ISD right now. Over to there. And then we're going to start making our attacks. We're going to start with the front, into your front, mm -hmm. with two blacks, two reds, and a blue. You really don't have much I can do besides re-roll reds. So we re-roll this red for you take four damage with crits. Okay, so I'm going to brace that to two, redirect it to the side. Okay, and then we're going to take the side into mm -hmm. your front, which is three reds, two blacks, and a blue. Yep. Four, I leave it as it sits. Four, six. So if I do nothing, I die. So we're gonna, we're gonna brace that down to three. Might as well burn the redirect. So there's one and then take two and we've got a crit in there. Yep. Structural damage, <laughs> because it's always a structural damage, John. What? Always a structural damage. What does that leave you on? Uh, I've got eight, so four more. Four more. Uh, I'm going speed three. We ram. I sit where I'm at. You take another one. So we're gonna activate Parkinson's number two. Now if we use it as the dial, I'm gonna start by flacking out the front. The only thing I can hit is the one vulture right there. So let's get that blue die out for a very accurate shot, so nothing. And then we have my side to the side of the Providence, medium range. So I, I it is obstructed because of the Exergorth. So I have two red instead of three. And with that, I will LTT. And then intensify it. Yeah, try and block out. Block the redirect. 
Perfect. We sell the legal. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. So I drop the blue and I hit you with a black and a red mm -hmm. into your side. And we take this one with the DVY 827 to give you three damage. Right, so re-roll that one. Hey, take two. So if I'm going to take two, we will redirect those to the rear, so you'll still take the one. Yep. Two. And then I'm going to move. So spending the dial, I'm going to stay at speed to add an extra click on the first joint. Can you overlapping me? Uh, no, but I'm going to bump them with the... We're gonna activate my hard cell. The hard cell is revealing squadrons, and I have two squadrons in range. Who would have thought? And they're going to be flying down to here to stay within distance one of you, like that. And now outside of the Exergoth, and we're gonna fire into your side. You ready? Go for it. First one, accuracy. Okay. Second one, I don't really have much faith in these. Nothing. Cool. It's either nothing or two. It yeah, it's pretty much either. what it is. <laughs> and then we're going to fire into your side with a blue and two reds. Okay. For what it is. Take two. Hit crit. I got two shields on that side right now, correct? Correct. Two shields on. So it can go to the front or. Uh, you know what? I'm going to redirect. To the front? To the front, please. Thank you. you. Like that. And then I move my speed one straight ahead. Like so. Activate the Arctans all the way in the corner here. Nav, I'm going to take it as a token because I feel like taking it as a token. Uh, John has positioned himself in such a great spot where he has. Uh, his fighter's out of my flak range. I get one shot at his hard cell and everything else is nowhere. So we're going to do one red die against the front of John's hard cell. Let's see if I can get something. I get a double. I cancel it with my evade. At least I get to make you use a token. Yeah. <laughs> something, John, right? Well, there's uh, no other attacks that can hit it, so. Yeah. All right. We're just going to move speed three. I'm going to overlap the one fighter. Sit like so. My last activation, Munificent is doing squadrons. I just so happen to have three squadrons. <laughs> and uh, as if you knew what you were doing, just doing what I'm doing. So I am risking the fact I'm just going to move them and then shoot with them if you're cool with that. Yep. It's. Uh, like I was trying to, I'm, I'm risking a lot here to try to um, kill the ISD. Kill the ISD with shots. It's <laughs> it's risky. It is what it is. So here we go. So we're gonna start with the first vulture into the front because I think that's probably the best chance. Hey. Do a normal. Normal. So now two hyenas twice. Some people talk about how hyenas just shred things. Two damage. Well, I mean, they're starting to do something here, so let's, uh, we will redirect that over to the side. Okay. And then we're going to do two more with the other hyena. Hey, there, now we're talking. Take three. You're going to have me reroll the double, so. Yeah, reroll re the double, please. It's double outside, double but outside. that's not going to happen. Two crits. I'm fine two with that. Two crits. Yeah, I'm not, John. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do. Spend the uh, the redirect, and I'm going to push both to the side. Perfect. Okay, so now shots. Yes. An obstructed shot into the front of your ISD. We're making that first because if I kill it, then I can redirect over to there, which is hopefully the plan. Question of the day: Can you kill the ISD in one shot, or do you need two? Yeah, probably two. But here we go. One so far, and we LTT this. Yeah. Hopefully, you pull a structural if I don't do it. Well, it is my deck. So, accuracy, cool. So, 
Is it instructional to kill it? <laughs> no. Ruptured engine after I execute a maneuver. If the speed on the speed dial is greater than one, I suffer a damage. Okay, so I now have to commit that to that. I need one damage. You don't have to. You could leave it alive for another I'm turn. I'm not going to leave it alive for another turn. It's very dead. That's it, what I needed the first dead. time. So uh, that one's the structural. Ah, uh, one off. <laughs> oh, well. All right, this one's, this one's gone. And then we're going to go ahead and move. What turn is this? This is, this is three. Very busy turn three. I think we're just going to fly straight. Straight two. We'll overlap that one and, and that, that one. And I think I'm just going to run them back in the corner here. Perfect. We're going to activate this uh, Architans that's going to die soon. Nav, dial, because I've already got the token. I do have a double arc shot on, on the side of the Munificent. Uh, just in the rear, and I can actually hit you because of the arcs. Let's let John do some salvo back. So let's fire the front, because we're at close range, I think. Yep. Yep, on um, bull. Mm, no, I think we're medium. Out the side. Long out the side. All right. Close on the front, long out the side. So let's do the front at close for Two, I'm not going to bother to LTT that. Okay, um, I just take two on the front and I salvo you. Okay. Two reds into your front. Three damage. Okay, three damage. Um, I'm going to hold off on that. So there's one, two. Are there any crits in there? No. Nope. So just take regular one. And here's the side shot with three. And you took the two off the front already. That's cocked up. We roll it. Yep. Well, LTT this one for an accuracy. So block my don't, salvo. Don't salvo take two. So I brace it to one. And, one. and I take one onto the side. Right. And then I will. I think I'm gonna ram regardless. That's a ram. So, just. I'm going to go forward like such at speed three, because that's what I'm at now. I'll ram you here for sure. I think I might ram you at speed two forward as well. Yeah, just move them. Get out of the way for a second. No, I think that will actually a lamp. So these two for sure. Yeah. He lands. Which means this one was right there. I think I over may have overlapped him. I'll let you make the call on that. I'm just gonna put him in the back. And then I'll take another damage, and then I think it's the Munificent that takes one. Well, you didn't ram the Munificent, technically. Oh, yeah, right, right. You right. rammed that one, and then you landed at two. So I have one ship left. That is the damaged Gazanti nav. We're going to use it. We're going to drop down to speed two. Add the extra click here, because I can do one one. So we're going to go to two one. I believe this will avoid all of the fun obstacles. Let me make sure it's actually on the thingy. And are we within range three? Looks like we are. Yeah, so you can have a nav on top of... What do you think it was? I don't know. Probably fighters. It was. So we have a nav. And slicer tools is now tossed. Okay, Exergoth time. They come up. They move their obstacles. So this is going to drop nicely into that cluster. This one 
is going to move right in front of there. And then we're going to deploy these. Such a kind fashion. In a very nice way. And uh, thinking like this. Do we have that one down there? Let me pull back just slightly. He's down there. We're gonna activate the architects here. I've got an engineering, so I'm gonna spend it. I'm gonna use two points to put a shield on the front, and I'm gonna use the third point to bring one from the rear to the front. And I got a token that's falling off. Let's put it over here for the moment, because I think this is gonna be dead soon. So we took a look and measured out. I do have you double arced, but I can only hit the side from my front. So I've got a front, to the side, so that's a black and a, or that's a blue. blue and a red into your side of the Munificent for a crit and an accuracy, I'm not gonna let you sell though. Oh, okay, I think I'm just gonna take the damage. Okay. Grievous doesn't really work if you can't even use your defense tokens. Uh, well, that's just because I'm rolling you know, a couple accuracies here, John. All right, my side to your front, three reds. There goes one. LTT it. So I'm gonna LTT the one. And then concentrate I'm gonna fire it. Concentrate fire it again. So double. Um, for for good measure, John, you can't salvo, you can't brace. Okay, I redirect both to the side you're on. Yeah, that's what I figured. Not going in anywhere. And then I took a look. There is nothing I can do, even with the nav team. I am essentially going to ram the Providence. So um, I won't wind up hitting the Munificent. So we've got, what, one on, one on the, prov. the Prov, one on the Architans. And John, that's, that's it. And back to you. Hard sell time. We're revealing Concentrate Fire. Um, I'm pretty sure it was just stuck there dead, so I just decided to leave it stuck there dead. We're going to shoot into this guy. We're going to start with the front arc into your side. And that's two reds and a blue. We'll see what we get. For you cannot evade. Take three, and we're going to concentrate fire in on this one. For take four, you can't evade. Four and I can't evade. And I think this one's got just the two shields. Yep. Fun, fun, fun. So, uh, no crits. So, all right, guess I'm taking two there and one, two. Okay. Side shot into your side. Mm -hmm. One blue. Hit. Yeah, I've got nothing I can do at all except for force you to re-roll it, right? Is that even worth doing though? No, so I'll just take it. Perfect, and then I move one forward, ramming. The other one. The other one. And ram damage, it's my favorite. So here we go with this Architon sitting over here. Confire, keeping it as a dial. We're gonna make my first shot, my side, to the side of your hard cell, and again, Unobstructed, clean shot, three red dice, almost said blue. Oof. That's not bad, so I'm going to leave it as such, take four with a crit. You can re-roll that double. Okay. And do a single, so there's three. And then we will brace it. To two. And we will redirect it both to the rear. Okay. Done. Now we're going to take a side shot. We're going to go from my side to the side of the Providence. The Exergorth does obstruct it. It is medium range. And it is medium range. So here's two. 
for a double and a hit, I'm going to spend just the Confire dial to add in a red. We're going to LTT this. So that's a hit. So that's four hits into the side of the Providence. Okay, we will brace it to two. Yep. We will redirect it to the front. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to salvo you back. Yep, and let's see how lucky I get. So, so I dropped the blue. I hit yep. you with a red and a black. Yep. So being at medium, I'm going to force you to re-roll the black. You know, re-roll bow? Nah, just, just re-roll the black. Right out of the box. Woof! Alright, that, that was a worthwhile, worthwhile thing to do. So there we go. And then I'm at speed two. I'm going to spend the nav token to get myself an extra click. So I've got an extra yaw here on the first joint. Two. I'm going to land here. Now I think all I'm doing is landing on the. Am I over? No. Okay. So I'm going to take one and I have to suffer one more. That's number two, so not dead yet, but almost. Here we go with the Providence. We have the nav dial that Ken gave me, so we're going to use it. Um, I'm going to be shooting out my side into the side of this Architon at medium range. So we're going to drop a red. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit you with uh, two reds and a blue, and I need one damage to actually stick. You need one damage to actually stick. So I need three hits to auto kill you. Yes. Or that, that's actually gonna do it. So we'll LTT this mm -hmm. into block your evade. I can't, I can't evade, so I can't do anything. So I'm taking two regardless. So just for giggles, because I want to know, the crit is not structural. So, okay. Off that goes. Okay, and then with the dial, I drop to speed two. And with speed two, I'm going to ram. And I ram at one, so I stay where we are. We both get a damage. And it's hey. It's still alive for the it's moment. It's still alive. Activate this Architons. Confire, we'll use the dial. So my first shot uh, is going to be my side to the front of your hard cell. So three reds. All right, well, let's just go ahead and LTT it. Say you can't use the... You well, know. LTT means you re-roll, not set it. You don't have intensify. Oh, that's right, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, Wrong, wrong one. I it's still got still the, the same hit. thing. Doesn't matter. I was just saving time, John. Uh, no uh, uh, evade. I just take two. And then I'm going to fire long range my side to your side of the Providence obstructed because of the Exergorth. So there's the two. We're going to spend out the Confire to add in another red. So that was a hit and a crit. I'm going to two hits and a crit, so take three, John. So I'm going to spend out the redirect mm -hmm. to move all three to the front, and then I'm gonna salvo you back. Okay. I have to drop a die, so it would be a blue red mm -hmm. because of flak, so right. I just roll one instead for nothing, and we will LTT it for a crit. For a crit, and I am at range, and this is number three, so I'm just going to go ahead and evade it. Cool. And then I'm going to spend out the nav token and get an extra click since I'm going at speed three. Put it on the first one. And here I'm going to overlap the debris field. Yes, you are. And I think, do I have any shields on that side, John? You do. Go ahead and take two off that. Unificent with Grievous is going to reveal a squadron. So I don't actually have squadrons that I can actually get in range, so I'm going to take it as a token. 
And then I'm going to speed two, which will overlap Ken. Mm -hmm. We will overlap and both take a damage, and that kills you. And then that Architense is gone. All right, we're going to activate the Gazanti. I have a nav. We're going to use it as a dial. I'm just going to kick straight up to speed three because I have no shots. And we are going to do this. And you're clean. Clean. Sorry, John. So extra costs come up. We just realized we've done this wrong every single turn so far. So uh, that's cool. <laughs> and then we're going to be moving them because they happen immediately. Don't think we've had any situations though where the fighters have been even close to where you would have moved them. So I know it's just what yeah. It is. I know. So now we're gonna move some fighters, and we gotta get fighters into position. So uh, these two are gonna move and fly over to here. Then, and then these guys are all gonna be moving down into activation range so I can start doing fighter stuff on the next turn. These guys move their five. To there. Now the rest move four, which isn't as far, but should be able to get down to where I need them. So there's a hyena. Hyenas go first. And then this guy, I don't really care because he's just what he is. He's gonna fly right there. These hyenas are going to fly down to here and make a cute little bubble. Now we put Exergoths on, and I think what we're going to do is drop an Exergoth over here, and then we're going to... See, this is the risk. Like, at this point, I'm just giving you points if I kill my own stuff, I think. You're more than welcome to kill your own stuff, John. I'm okay with that. I know, I just don't need to. So we're actually going to put it on um, that one. I, I just need him away from me okay. at this point. Start of turn five, confire on the Gazanti. So I'm going to take a side shot from my side to the side of the Providence. So that's going to be a single blue for an accuracy. I'm going to spend out the token in the dial. We're going to add another blue. And we're going to re-roll the accuracy, hoping for a crit. Hit crit. Okay, I brace it, and then I'm going to salvo it, because there's no reason yep. not to. So, I take a crit. Your hull zone with the most remaining shield. This is my, I hate this card, projector misaligned. So, whatever has the most shields so one over here. gets zapped all the way down to zero. That's three free damage, which is stupid. I mean, it's three free damage, it's not going to, I think, have much of an impact, though. Okay, so we're going to rainbow blast you. Mm-hmm. Right back into your side. So we're going to LTT this. That's what I needed. And then we're going to turn that into you take four. Boom. So I'm just going to scatter it all away. Okay, and then you go ahead and take a move. And I don't think I have another shot, do they? That's worth taking. No, I think no, I'm outside of that's... You could flack those two. Do I have anything else? Nah, yeah, you'll just scatter that away. Yeah, so you can flack those two. Let's scatter the two vultures. Uh, scatter. Let's flack the two vultures just for the fun of flacking vultures. The one on the left is a miss, and the one on the right is off the table, is a hit. So which one are you taking damage? The, the one on my right. That one. Okay, go ahead and move. I think no matter what I do. 
hated putting myself in a very bad spot. Well, I'm taking an asteroid. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just temporarily move these guys out of the way. Straight with the asteroid. Overlap those guys. Because you know if I hit that asteroid, it's structural and it's dead. Uh, yes. So we do that. Activating the Providence. We have a squadron, and we're going to go ahead and use that. I have four squadrons, so we're going to hit these three hyenas and that vulture. So we're going to start off with the vulture. We're gonna move it as far down as I can and stay inside range. So that's gonna be down to here. And we're gonna shoot into your front. Mm -hmm. Can the vultures do it? Nope. No. Okay. And then we're gonna move hyenas and we're gonna move this guy into this little groove spot right here. And we're gonna shoot into your front with two reds. There we go. Take two. Two. Do I have shields on that side? I can't see. No. no. You have zero shields here. Two, two, two. I guess I'll take two on the front. Okay, then we're gonna move another another one in and he can move all the way in right here we're gonna do hopefully the same thing into you for take a crit so let's go ahead and have you re-roll the crit re-rolling the crit into a blank all right that works and then we're gonna fly this guy in and he can just Right okay. there. And we're gonna bomb you again. For take one. So I'll just redirect that to the side. Okay, so now I have a medium range shot into your side. Yes. With, I start with three reds and a blue, and we're gonna get rid of a red. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna just hit you with this. I hate reds. Um, LTT it. <laughs> I hate red dice. Should have dropped. You did drop a red. I did drop yeah, a red, Ken. Yeah. Of course, I dropped a red. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we're gonna shoot into the side of your Gazanti with a rainbow. So this will actually do damage. Uh, maybe. For block your scatter, take two. So we are at close range. Man, do I really want it? Yeah, let's go ahead and re-roll just the blue. Just the blue? Yeah, your blacks are too hot for me to re-roll that. Yeah. All right, so that's just take one off the rear, one uh, damage. I'm shooting into your side. Into side sorry, uh, one, one off the side and then one damage. Okay, then I move speed three as far as I can away. To right there. I have one architant's left. Nav, we'll use it as the dial. Um, I could shoot you, but there's no point because I'm going to roll one die and I need more than you know, four to kill you and I'm going to get away. So I'm just going to flack all the fighters. So let's just work our way down. So starting with that vulture on three. He's uh, two, but nothing. two, I'm sorry. This one at three. Okay, that one at three. Nothing. This one at two. That's a hit. Cool. I like that tie better. Okay, then we move on to the hyenas. Four. Mm -hmm. uh, accuracy. One on two. For another accuracy. The one on three. Cool. <laughs> Your blues are as good as my reds. Yeah, no kidding. Ah, jeez. All right, so let's just stay at speed three. And we're going to do that. Do that. So John, if you a little can bit more in this move. Way. 
for me, please. Right to there. Thank you. Activating the card cell that is barely moved, we have squadrons. Who would have thunk? Huh. And we have the two that are unactivated, so we're going to move both of them as far forward as we can to stay in range one to attempt to shoot into your front again. And this guy as well, moves over to here. Yep, cool. So this is just what it is. So red, nothing. And then another red, that's a hit. So that is a hit. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna redirect into the side with the shield. Cool. And then I have no shots, I move speed one. And I do a turn like this. Wow. Munificent with Grievous. Squadrons. I have three squadrons that are in range. Boop. And they're all going to jump over to here and attempt to kill you. So this guy and this guy and the hyena all jump over into the front arc of this. So you have no shields. I have no shields. So I'm gonna just plink roll them in. All right, let's do it. So first, first guy, he hits you with nothing. nothing. I cannot kill you. And then here's another one for nothing. nothing. And this is brutal. And then my hyena for nothing. Man, that was beautiful. And then I'm gonna shoot you into your side with three reds. Okay. For I block your. Ugh. We're at long range? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I block your scatter and you have that which so you spend I'm out. I'm going to spend out to cancel the other two so it stays alive. Okay, and then we shoot with the rear into your side. Or we're going to reroll this with LTT. So spend I out the have scatter. to spend out the scatter to stay alive, but... And I think we can now. probably call it there. Because I'm going to land right here. And I don't think anything's going to be in range. After looking at it, the only thing that matters is Ken activating his Arca 10 and LTT this fighter. With the combined flak, he doesn't have enough to kill anything else. This one's on one health, so he needs one hit to kill it. So here we go. We're going to make that flak shot. We've got the standard blue, which is nothing, so we're going to LTT in two blacks. That actually does kill it. So that fighter is dead. Everything else moves away. Yep and nothing can hit or do anything with anything, so that is it. So we're back. Um, I did not get tabled. 9-2 though. Uh, yeah. Um, bad matchup. Yeah. Much. Your ships, you needed to kill me before uh, my fighters could get in. Right. And when you went slow, that just guaranteed that my fighters could swarm you first. Huh. And I really like this strip down Providence. I've been running it like this for a while mm -hmm. and just use its flak to say, I don't care take a handful of damage if you attack me. Otherwise, I just move in and I do Providence things of just throwing a handful of handful of dice. It wound up actually doing a lot more damage to the Providence than I had anticipated. I think we knocked you down to like six hull out of the nine. Uh, so had I decided to attack the 
providence instead of the munificent with that architens that was doomed to die. Maybe, probably not, but a possibility could have been there. Um, I initially went slow with that ISD. The hope was to kind of swing around and like, leverage all the architens to take down the providence and then polish it up with the ISD. The fighters just tore up the yeah. ISD, and I had no way to, to screen it at all. The fighters did work on the ISD and then just decided, Stop. I'm done. Yeah. We did our work. Um, the payloads were exhausted. <laughs> I really should have killed your last architend. Yeah. I blanked out completely on the Providence with rerolls, mm -hmm. and then all the attacks into it just blanked out. So that entire like last almost two turns, I did zero damage with almost all my dice that I threw. Yeah. So that's super frustrating. It, it, I think uh, everything but the flotilla should have been decimated. Um, so yeah, uh, I mean it is what it is. I mean, it's John's red dice. Yeah, the red <laughs> dice are terrible. Um, I'm trying to think about us. I still don't. I'm not a fan of Grievous, mm -hmm. and so I feel like I played this game very efficiently on how I positioned my things, how I moved my fighters to keep them alive how I maneuvered my ships to keep them out of range. And I did discard the um, redirect token, mm -hmm. and that's the only token I really needed back. And to get it back, I would have had to already have left a fighter in a place to die. And why just give up a fighter and give up eight points when I didn't think you were going to be able to kill my the ship to begin with. Yeah. So I feel like at least tag you know when you're going to get your token back. With Grievous, you can do some things to control it, but for the most part, like with my swarm of aces and fighters, you're going to just kill the aces out, mm -hmm. cool, and I don't get token regeneration from that. Or I'm going to have full tokens, and you're going to just focus down the vultures because they die really fast. I'm not going to get token regeneration from that. And my ships, I should have my ships positioned so that you're not depleting my tokens. Like, right, you never gave me driving, money the providence into a death trap is a death trap regardless of what commander you have. No, I agree. And I really didn't have any good double arc shots. I don't think I had a double arc at all in the game, did I? Maybe once or twice. So I was just deprived of shots. Yeah. Uh, and as soon as Tarkin died, maybe maybe the trick on this list is to pull him off the ISD, put him on one of the Architons. <laughs> maybe. But, um, <laughs> kind of like what I did with my Providence. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> uh, I would have been able to still leverage Tarkin, which would have given me the slicer tools thing. I think actually the fact that I slicer tooled you the one turn is probably what allowed that Architons to survive. Because otherwise, yes. you would otherwise have I would have been yet. activating four more squadrons right, right. there. So I kind of, I, the one thing I threw on this list helped me out, yeah. which, which is kind of a cool thing. We did get to see the Hyperwave Boost card yes. for the first time. So I was up in the air about it, but it's awesome with vultures. <laughs> Too bad my vultures don't do anything. But, like, just drop a, like, a fistful of vultures in the middle of the table, and then if you fly into it, they activate, and they get to throw stuff at you. What this list really needs is a few more points to put Bomber Command in, but then I'm flying my hard sell in. And you're, you're flying it with your, your bombers, which then puts that in a precarious situation. So it's it's kind of, how do you want to run that? Yeah, so now I've tried a couple of different variations of Grievous. I have another list I'll probably try eventually as well um, along the same basic lines. I think fighter heavy is better than ship heavy because there's more chances for it to trick off, but not a single time did it have a chance to tick off this entire game. But that also might just be the way I fly it. I just, the way I fly it is very efficient to protect my ships from being double arced and to be fired at. And it also keeps my stuff right out of range. So I don't want to take damage, period. So Grievous and I may not be friends. We have yet to see me run a Grievous fleet. So perhaps we'll see that in season two. So our question for this week is, what do you think of the Hyperwave Signal Boost? Have you managed to use it? Is it a useful card? And what do you usually activate? So tell us your stories in the comments below because we'd love to hear them. So we would like to thank all of our Patreon members for helping support us and helping us um, improve the channel. Otherwise, for everyone else, give us a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Check out all the social media links below. Thank you for watching. I'm John. And I'm Ken. 
This has been Ion Radio.